I'ma tell you one time. I'ma tell you one time. One time. When I met you, girl, my... Ah. I didn't mean to stop you like that, but this is only a tease. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you Island Def Jam recording artist Justin Bieber. It's getting ready to go down. Just so you know, we're in the studio right now working on it. Get ready because it's going to be big. Ain't that right, Justin? That's right. That's right. So look out. We're coming. <laughs> Time. I think that should be the first single because I think it's up tempo. We'll get the kids excited. When I met you, girl, my heart went knock, knock. Now them butterflies in my stomach. June 2009, Justin was playing at a water park in Poughkeepsie, New York for 40 people. It was raining at the water park, by the way. Pouring rain. Antonio was dancing, Marvin was dancing, Tay was DJing, Dan was playing guitar, and me and Ryan. I mean, it went naturally, but naturally doesn't mean easy. There's work that goes into that, and you have to do the footwork. In radio, we don't play a young kid. 15 years old, he's got a young voice, but that's not our thing. They didn't understand it. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is what we did. We put Justin in a van and on airplanes. And that kid, planes, trains, and automobiles. All right, Q and two live in the studio. Justin Bieber. What's up, guys? All the hits. Is this being played anywhere else in the country right yeah. now? Justin, what are you going to sing for us right now? I'm going to perform one time right now. Your couch, brother. I'm going to sing one time acoustically. You guys have heard the track one time? One time. It is acoustic version. Oh, my God. When I met you, girl, my heart went knock, knock. Now them butterflies in my stomach won't stop, stop. And even though it's a struggle, love is all we got. So he went every single one. If you weren't playing his record, he still went. And he'd play his guitar for you acoustic, and he'd sing on the spot, any request. And he won people over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. That was nice, man. Just to be able to not forget us, nice. bro. Don't forget us. I won't. There is not a DJ that can say they have not met Justin Bieber. Waking up early, going to radio stations, meeting with, you know, it's just adults. <laughs> Everything is just adults. I'm so excited to go to Hartford. He started Twittering. I'm going to be at this radio station. I'm going to be at this radio station. <laughs> first 20 kids, then 40 kids, then 100 kids, then a couple hundred kids started lining up outside of these radio stations to just get a glimpse of him. And they started to play his record. Chaos at Roosevelt Field Mall today. The crowd was so huge. Local police are on hand trying to control this crowd. I think at that point, no one really realized how powerful social networking was or is. Oh 
who caused this? Like, wow, like Justin Bieber, that kid, you know, with the hair and they could sing. He caused like this whole huge thing. Justin's fans are the most loyal group of girls on the planet. They all feel a certain sort of ownership over him because they feel like they found him before Scooter found him, before the record labels found him. He belongs to them. And they're there for him and they, God, I've never seen fans like this. And I'm a terrible one.